What's up everyone, it's just Blaze 89 In today's video I'm going to be talking about the different ammo types in Modern Warfare 2 and what they do and the pros and cons. At the end I'll tell you which ones are my favourite and why and whether these other ones are any good or not. First of all is the overpressured plus P rounds. What this does is increases enemy flinch, however it's important to note that it only really makes a difference to the flinch on enemies that are using sniper rifles or marksman rifles. So if you're having trouble against people using snipers or running around with the SPR or the SAB, then this is definitely a good ammo type to look at as it will massively increase their flinch, making it harder for them to hit their shots on you. However, outside of that, if they're using assault rifles or SMGs or anything like that, it's not going to make much difference. So it's very situational, but very good if you're coming up against snipers or marksman rifles. After that, we've got the armor piercing rounds. Not that much to say on this one, pretty much does what it says it does. It gives you a 40% increase to vehicle and score streak damage. So if you're trying to take out a score streak with your gun, it's going to be useful in that situation. Also, obviously, more damage through surfaces. Uh, but other than that, it's not really going to do that much. So that's really all there is on that one. The next one we're going to go into is going to be frangible rounds. These are a strange one. Um, they inflict a wound in effect, which means that enemy healing is delayed. But it, it normally it will take you five seconds to start healing. But with you, this ammo type, it's going to take you 10 seconds. Uh, obviously, this keeps them out of the game for a little while longer sometimes, um, as 10 seconds is quite a long time in a Call of Duty game, as you know. Um, but it also reduces bullet penetration by quite a lot, making you not very effective through surfaces. Um, and it does give a slight reduction to your damage range, although that's barely noticeable. So in, in long and short of it, it doesn't increase your damage or anything. It just makes it take longer for the enemy to start healing. And other than that, it doesn't do much else. Next is Hollow Point. This one's another strange one. It has a crippling effect, which only works with shots to the legs. What this does is it slightly blurs and shakes their screen, uh, the enemy that is obviously, and stops them from sprinting. However, this is only when you hit them in the legs, and in general you don't want to be aiming that low down due to the reduced damage that they'll take. It's also going to reduce bullet velocity by 7%, which isn't that noticeable, but obviously not ideal. And it will give a significant reduction to bullet penetration, just like frangible rounds. Sorry about that. Uh, you'll do less damage when shooting through surfaces. The next one is incendiary. This gives about a four to six damage per shot increase to your damage overall, um, and a 50% increase to vehicle damage or score streak damage. Obviously that means shooting down enemy score streaks. Um, but the problem is that it gives a big reduction to your bullet velocity, means you're really gonna struggle outside of close range. And also it, may, it means that you literally have zero bullet penetration. So you can fire, empty a whole clip, into a simple wooden door and none of the bullets will go through so overall unless you're planning on building a class that's strictly close range i would avoid using incendiary rounds however they may be useful to you in close range engagements the next one is going to be high velocity this is a really good one it increases bullet velocity by 50 percent which is going to make a huge difference especially at long ranges even medium it make a good di uh, difference because obviously bullet velocity is obviously the speed of the bullet coming out the gun so how long it takes from when you fire your shot to when it hits the enemy which is why at longer ranges if you have low bullet velocity it will feel like there's a bit of lag between when you pull the trigger and when the bullet hits as well if the enemy's running at ranges it'll take longer for the bullet to reach them so you have to kind of lead the target by aiming just to the front side of where they're running you won't have to do that if you've got higher velocity because obviously the bullet's going to get to them faster anyway i may have over explained that so it increases bullet velocity by 50 percent, which is great for longer ranges it does say it reduces damage range but it turns out that's only by two percent which is obviously literally not noticeable so highly recommend this ammo type especially for classes set up for like medium to long range and that is all of the ammo types in the game, I think. Uh, haven't done the shotgun ones, but this is all the ammo types for all the other guns. So in terms of which one is the best, I would have to say overpressured plus P if you're coming up against marksmen or snipers and it's a problem. And high velocity just for longer range classes. Other than that, I suppose you could use armor piercing if you wanted to take out score streaks without having a launcher as your secondary. Uh, but for me, high velocity for longer range classed, classes and overpressured plus P if I'm coming up against a lot of snipers or marksman rifles. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please consider subscribing for more and leave a like. I'll see you in the next one.
Peace.